Welcome back guys. Today we'll be doing set theory. I'll be going into details with set builder ensuring you understand what is a set builder. Let's look at the explanation for a set builder. So a set builder we have x then the colon means such that x is an element of or some persons know it as a member of and we'll have the type of number along with the range. Now the types of numbers can be rational, real numbers, natural numbers, integers, irrational. So it can be any type of numbers that we know of and then we can be given a range. So if within this range, we will find these numbers. So if we say it's rational, then the range that I have here will give me the rational numbers. Now there are times when we'll ask you to count how many numbers are in this set. So that's what I'm going to discuss today. So here we have a set builder. X is such that X is an element of the integers. And the range is where x is greater than or equal to negative 3, but strictly less than 5. And because it's strictly less than 5, we are not going to include the number 5. So as you can see, I'm listing the numbers that are integers. So after counting, this is saying I have 8 elements. Now, for the next one, as you can see, the set builder x is an element of a real number. So this is different. I'm looking for real numbers. And they're infinite amount because if you look on the number line, it's impossible for us to count the numbers between negative 3 and 5 because we have fractions, decimals, all those numbers. So it's infinite. Now, the next example we have, we can have whole numbers. Whole number starts at zero. So, using the same range as you can see, I will stop at four. So, as you can see, I'll have zero, one, two, three, and four. So, counting the amount of elements that I have present, this tells me I have five elements. So for the next example, here we're talking about natural numbers. The natural numbers start from 1, so it means I'll be listing from 1, 2, 3, 4, but we will not include 5 because we say strictly less than 5. So here what we have is just 4 elements from this set. So the last example we have x is such that x is an element of rational numbers and uh, we have an equation format where we have to solve for x so no longer finding out the range the values that is within the range but we have to actually do some solving so i equate each of the brackets to be equal to zero so x minus one equals zero and x squared minus 4 equals 0. So solving for x, we have x to be equal to positive 1 because it becomes positive. Positive 1, same case here. Add 4 to both sides. So in other words, some person like to say carry the 4 over, so it becomes positive 4. This has a square, so in order to get rid of the square, we have to square root both sides. And whenever you square root a number in solving, we get plus and minus the number. So it means that the values that we have here are negative 2, positive 2, and positive 1. So it means that we have three elements that are rational numbers because all of these three numbers can be a fraction. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like my videos and subscribe.